Hello, I'm Patrick Smates. Welcome to this prepared enabling change presentation on water cycle safety plans. With climate change, we expect several threats for the urban water cycle. This can be either lack of rain and drought causing low water levels in rivers or and high temperatures in cities, but also extreme rainfall events causing flooding of infrastructure, flooding of streets, and increased temperature causing problems, for example, for, by cyanoalgae blooms. We may also expect different water uses with changing climate, for example, to fight Gila islands in cities, water features may be installed, and also water reuse for irrigation or other purposes may be installed. The prepared enabling change project was set up to prepare the urban water cycle for climate change. In this project several work areas were defined and within the work area of risk assessment and risk management several partners were together to work, develop the water cycle safety plan. This involves several research institutes around Europe so that's LNEC, KWR, University of Exeter, the Crimean Research Center, Iron Aquagas, Sintef, and IWW. The urban water system is very much integrated. Various elements such as the surface water, the drainage, stormwater runoff, Wastewater treatment, drinking water supply and groundwater have strong interactions and with climate change these are expected to change. The challenge is that generally these various elements of the urban water cycle are controlled by various utilities which may be very differently organized in every city. These utilities really need to work together to solve problems in an integrated way and not move their expected risk from climate change from one element to the other. The urban water cycle basically provides a basis to do this by providing a common language and a common goal to all these stakeholders. Now the idea behind the water cycle safety plan is not to start from scratch but to integrate existing risk management plans from the various stakeholders into one large-scale water cycle safety plan. So within the water cycle safety plan we also look at economical risks and you can see that all coming together in these um, surface water areas which are also important for uh, navigating. If the, during very dry summers the level of the water can become very low and you can get a conflict of interest between um, navigation for bulk carriers, but also intake for drinking water, but also water for recreation or irrigation. Uh, water quality can go down rapidly with um, the amount of wastewater increasing into the rivers as the, the river water itself, the volume itself is becoming very low. And the wastewater input is becoming more important. The water cycle safety plan consists of nine steps. In the first step, the various utilities commit themselves to making a water cycle safety plan and to work together in an open and communicative way. Together, in workshops, they characterize the urban water cycle and do preliminary risk identification, risk analysis and evaluate which risks are most important. Then they go back to their own utilities to work on their system safety plans, taking into account various risks that were identified at the main level. Based on the system safety plans, the utilities once again come together to do, perform integrated risk analysis and evaluation, taking into account the more detailed risks identified in the systems. And together they come to an integrated risk treatment that needs to be incorporated in the management and communication programs in their own utilities and this process is repeated to get into a, a 
more refined level of risk management plan. The water cycle safety plan was initially based on the water safety plan approach initiated by WHO and IWA. It was adapted to other developments in risk management and risk assessment to fit into the risk approaches that is, are already being applied by the water utilities. Using a range of risk estimations, both qualitative and quantitative, uh, risk prioritization can be reached, for example, with such a likelihood consequence matrix as shown on this slide. Apart from health consequences, the water cycle safety plan also looks at financial, environmental, functional continuity, continuity and liability compliance and reputation and image risks. Along with the water cycle safety plan, tools have been developed such as checklists and databases for risk identification and risk treatment, but also methods for more quantitative risk assessment. So within the water cycle safety plan, we don't just look at health risks for humans, we also look at environmental risks, for example, for these kinds of ponds. So what is a risk uh, during very dry periods? Can we expect these ponds to dry up and ecology to, to damage? Or can we use these ponds in periods of heavy rainfall to prevent uh, urban areas from flooding or other uh, damage from heavy rainfall? So how can we actually turn risks into opportunities for these kinds of systems? The water cycle safety plan is currently being demonstrated in various cases in Eindhoven, Netherlands, Lisbon in Portugal, Quinto de Lago in Portugal, Oslo in Norway and Simferopol. And with these demonstrations the cities don't only learn to know their own water system, but they also learn from the experiences, mistakes and successes from the other cities. So this is the prepared group from Eindhoven that uh, works together in workshops from the different utilities and using conventional maps um, combined with the GIS table. The different disciplines work together to identify integrated risk issues and discuss how they can solve them in a cooperative way. And this is a result of such a session where the various stakeholders have filled in their risks and simply identified the points where there are interactions between the different water systems. So based on this knowledge, the prepared risk assessment group is now working together with the various utilities to develop a method to choose between various risk reduction options and to optimize interactions in the water, urban water cycle to prepare the cities for climate change. So on behalf of the risk assessment risk management team and the prepared project, I thank you for attending this presentation and I invite you to check out the information on our website www.prepared-fp7.eu